Welcome. I welcome you all to this lecture in the course Samasa in Paninian Grammar. And this is the first course. We begin our lecture with the recitation of the Mangala Charana. Vishvesham Satchidanandam Vandeham Yokhilan Jagat Chari Karti Bari Bharti Sanjari Harti Leelaya Vishvesham Satchidanandam Vandeham Yokhilan Jagat Chari Karti Bari Bharti Sanjari Harti Leelaya We are studying in detail Tatpurusha Samasa. We are studying the sutras that prescribe the Tatpurusha Samasa in the grammar of Panini. We have already gone through the theoretical background of the overall process of compounding and then also the Tatpurusha Samasa. The features of the Tatpurusha Samasa can be summed up in the form of an equation which is very simple, which is of this kind. So we have X and Y as two different entities, independent, separate, however interlinked. And then the speaker thinks of merging them together into one unit and then after this merging happens we have one unit called xy and this is one unit in terms of the meaning as well as the word form as well as the accent x is a separate word y is a separate word x has got its own meaning y has got its own meaning X has got one accent, Y also has got one accent. Now when X and Y are merged together and XY as a compound is formed, this is one unit. So this entire unit conveys one meaning. This entire unit has one word form. This entire unit will have one accent. So these three features, namely Aikapadya, Aikarthya and Aikasvarya are the hallmark of this particular process of compounding. In Tatpurusha Samasa, out of X and Y, it is Y which is the Uttarapada, the second member of the compound which assumes the headship. So Y becomes the head. This is the by default position as far as the meaning is concerned and as far as the word form is concerned also. So the unit XY will be semantically linked with any other unit only through its head namely Y and never through X. There are however exceptional cases where X is directly linked to some other external unit and they are therefore termed as asamartha samasa. Y is highlighted to indicate this particular fact that it is the head amongst the two in the unit that is newly formed. We also stated that there are several subtypes of tatpurusha samasa. The prominent amongst them being the Vibhakti Tatpurusha Samasa, where the Vibhakti is the input and the Tatpurusha Samasa is the output. The Vibhakti is primarily 
where dvitiya tritiya chaturthi panchami and saptami that we have already studied now these vibhaktis denote the respective karakas stated in the ashtadhyayi tritiya vibhakti denotes karma tritiya karana chaturthi sampradana panchami apadana and saptami adhikarana and that is the way they are related to the other words so karaka theory is at the base which forms the interrelation between the words which later on get triggered in the arthakasha of the speaker who thinks of joining them together in the merged format by doing the ekarthi bhava and so on now after having studied the vibhakti tatpurusha as stated in the order in the ashtadhyayi namely dvitiya vibhakti tatpurusha stated by the sutras which begin with dvitiya shrita tita patita gatatya stap prapta pannaihi then trutiya the sutras beginning with trutiya tatkritarthena gunavachanena then chaturthi tatpurusha which is stated by just one sutra chaturthi tadarthartha balihita sukha rakshitaihi panchami is stated by a few sutras starting with panchami bhayena saptami is stated by a few sutras once again which start with saptami shaundaihi after having studied these let us now study the remaining vibhakti namely shashti shashti tatpurusha this is stated in a section in 2.2 namely 228 to 2216 this is a very peculiar kind of section where there is only one sutra prescribing the shashti tatpurusha samasa and the remaining sutras they negate the shashti tatpurusha samasa which goes to show that shashti tatpurusha samasa must be a big basket inside the vibhakti tatpurusha samasas so why is shashti vibhakti tatpurusha stated after all the other vibhakti tatpurushas are stated this is an important question why is it stated in 2.2 when other vibhakti tatpurushas are stated in 2.1 this is equally important a question the answer is other vibhaktis denote karaka relations whereas shashti vibhakti denotes relation in general sambandha samanya that is what is meant by the word shesha that is one of the primary reasons why shashti vibhakti is treated elsewhere and not in the same group this is the sutra shashti 228 a very small yet quite significant sutra this sutra has got only one word shashti and this word is in the prathama vibhakti one one so a word ending in the vibhakti shashti will be termed as upasarjana because of prathama nirdishtam samasa upasarjanam and upasarjanam purvam will ensure that the word ending in the shashti vibhakti occupies the initial position of the samasa thereby the purva nipata will happen the words continued in this particular sutra are sup sahasupa and of course samartha padavidhi is there so the meaning of the sutra is very simple any shashtyanta subanta is compounded with any other interrelated subanta very simple very generic what this means is that if there is a purva pada having shashti vibhakti at the end and an uttara pada with any vibhakti but which is interlinked then this compound happens and you will get the output in the form of two pratipadikas being merged together as one pratipadika 
So we have the patent example, man of the king or the servant of the king. And we have Radnya Purushaha as the Laukika Vigraha, which expresses this particular meaning. And then the Alaukika Vigraha for this is Rajan plus Nas plus Purusha plus Su. And now th this is termed as Samasa. And so this will be termed as Pratipadika. And now Nas and Su, which are the Sups, which are part of the Pratipadika, they will get deleted by the Sutra Supodhatu Pratipadika Yoho. Rajan and Purusha, they are interlinked through the meaning of Nas, because there is Vasvami Bhava Sambandha, which is expressed by Nas. So now after deleting the Sups, we have Rajan and Purusha, and then as we have already stated, Rajan retains the status of a Pratipadika as well as a Pada and so we have Sutra like Nalopa Pratipadika Antasya which requires both these conditions. It comes into play and deletes Na at the end of Rajan and so we have the finally derived compound output namely Rajapurusha meaning man of the king same as Rajnaha Purushaha. Samartha, Samaha, Arthaha. Now, the compounding process can recur and we have seen this earlier. Now, if we add some meaning to this already derived compound outputs meaning, that is king's man, if we say son of the king's man, this is the meaning that is to be now communicated. And so the Laukika Vigraha would be Raja Purushasya Putraha. This can get compounded because there is the relation of Janya Janaka Bhava. And so we get Raja Purusha Putra or Raja Purusha Putraha as the compound output. Further, if we want to say hand of the son of king's man, so now we have Raja Purusha Putrasya Hastaha and there is Avayava Avayavi Bhava. So this can further get compounded as Raja Purusha Putra Hastaha and then you can also add Raja Purusha Putra Hastasya Alamkaraha where there is Swaspami Bhava once again. And so you will have Raja Purusha Putra Hasta Alamkaraha as the derived compound output and this is an unending process. This can recur. It depends however on the chain of the meaning that a speaker wants to convey in this particular fashion. There is no restriction, there is no cap on the limit of the words that can get compounded which is a very important feature which is taken advantage of by various great scholars as well as, as well as poets who have long compounds as features of their literary work. So, Shashti is a very generic Shashti Tatpurusha Samasa Vidhayaka Sutra. And now we have the negations. Na nirdharane. Shashti was 2 to 8. Na nirdharane is 2 to 10. There is one more sutra in between, namely Yajaka Vishcha, which we shall study later on after we finish the negations. First, let us study what is na nirdharane. 2 to 10. There are two words in the sutra, na and nirdharane. Na means not. Nirdharana is 7 slash 1 of Nirdharana. Nirdharana means specifying one out of many on account of certain parameter. So the words continued are Shashti, which is 1 1, which obviously is the trigger for Upasarjana and Purvanipata. 
but in this case it is negated. Words continued are sup and sahasupa, and samartha padavidhihi is obviously there. So in all these conditions, the sutra says that there is no compounding that takes place, which means that the speakers of Sanskrit have not compounded even though other conditions exist. So the meaning of the sutra is that any shashtyanta subanta in the sense of specifying one out of many is not compounded with any other interrelated subanta. Very important. I repeat, any shashtyanta subanta in the sense of specifying one out of many is not compounded with any other interrelated subanta. So what is nirdharana? Nirdharana, as we said, specifying one out of many. And how do you do that? There are four parameters. Jati guna kriya saudhnya bhihi samudayat ekadeshasya prathak karanam nirdharanam Separating one part of a group on the basis of jati, that is generic property, or guna, that is quality, or kriya, that is action, or saudhnya, a term. This separation is called nirdharana. And shashti vibhakti is stated in this particular sense by the sutra 2.3.41 yatascha nirdharanam. So now here are the examples. The example of jati or generic property is manasyanam kshatriyaha shuraha. So amongst the men only Kshatriya is separated on account of the quality of being valiant. But from the Manushyas, Kshatriya is separated. So this is a generic property that is being used. Similarly, Gavam Krishna Bahukshira. So Krishna is separated from the group of cows on account of its color, which is a guna. So those people who are walking, the one who is running is separated on account of the action that one is doing. And Chatrana Maitraha Patuhu, amongst the students, one particular individual whose name is Maitra is separated and he is said to be quite good at studies. In all of the above cases, even though interrelation exists, compounding does not take place because of the sutra na nirdharani. You cannot have manasya kshatriya, you cannot have go krishna, gachad dhavan and chatramaitra. That is not possible. Similarly, there is one more negation. Pratipada vidhana cha shashti na samasyate. The shashti which is stated by uttering each word, and this is done in the section 2351 to 57. The purpose of this shashti is that this shashti is not compounded. So, negation of the compounding is the purpose of stating the pratipada vidhana shashti in 2351. So, for example, sarpisho jnanam, knowledge related to ghee, knowledge generated through the instrument of ghee, because ghee is there, from that you generate some knowledge. So, sarpisho jnanam. In the sense of instrument, shashti vibhakti is prescribed, uttering the verbal root jna specifically, pratipada, by the sutra, jnyo avidarthasya karane by 2351. So this is a Pratipada Vidhana Shashti. And the purpose of this is that this is not compounded. So you cannot say Sarpirdhyanam. No, compound is not allowed. This Shashti is not compounded following the above statement. Similarly, you have these following sutras. Adhigartha Dayesham Karmani and the examples are matuhu smaranam and matuhu smaranam are not compounded. 
सिमिलरली टू थ्री फिफ्टी थ्री इज क्रिया प्रतियत्ने इधो दकस्य उपस्करणम इज द एग्जाम्पल एंड एध एंड दकस्य एंड ऑल्सो दकस्य एंड उपस्करणम दिस इज नॉट कंपाउंडेड सिमिलरली टू थ्री फिफ्टी फोर इज रुजार्था भाववचना अचपरे एंड देर इज नो कंपाउंडिंग सिमिलरली टू थ्री फिफ्टी फाइव इज आशीषी नाथ एंड वी हेव द एग्जाम्पल सर्पिशो नाथ नम बट देर इज नो कंपाउंडिंग प्रतिपद विधान षष्ठी न समस्य दैट इज अ स्टेटमेंट देन देर आर टू मोर सूत्र झासी निप्रहण नाटक क्राथ पिशा हिंसायाम एंड वी हेव एग्जाम्पल्स लाइक चौरस निप्रहणनम चौरस उन्नाटनम चौरस क्राथनम चौरस पेशणम एंड डिस्पाइट दीज सुबंत बींग इंटर रिटेड दे डू नॉट गेट कंपाउंडेड बिकॉज दे आर प्रतिपद विधान सिमिलरली व्यवहारूपण समर्थयो टू थ्री फिफ्टी सेवेन एंड वी हेव शत व्यवहारण अर्पणनम एंड दे डू नॉट गेट कंपाउंडेड यू कैनॉट हेव शत व्यवहारण शतपणनम चौर निप्रहणनम एक्सेट्रा दिट इज नॉट पॉसिबल वाय बिकॉज प्रतिपद विधान षष्ठी न समस्य इन ऑल दीज अब केसेस इवन दो इंटर रिटेड षष्ठी इज नॉट कंपाउंडेड फॉलोइंग द स्टेटमेंट प्रतिपद विधान षष्ठी न समस्य सो टू समराइज वी कैन से दैट षष्ठी विभक्ति तत्पुरुष इज द बिगेस्ट बास्केट amongst the vibhakti tatpurushas even though there is only one sutra prescribing this particular compound it is too general to encompass varied usage that is perhaps my there are so many sutras negating shashti vibhakti tatpurusha in fact 2351 to 57 is a section particularly designed only to suit the negation statement these are the texts that we referred these are the traditional sources and we shall deal with the other negations of the shashti tatpurusha samasa in the coming lectures thank you for your patience